Hello, my name is Paige Ryder. I'm with the Attraction Pros podcast. Um, let's see. So it's so hard to pick like a favorite roller coaster. There's so many good ones. And there's so, so many different reasons to love different coasters. Um, I think my very first roller coaster was a small wooden one called Zingo at Bell's Amusement Park in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which was where I grew up. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore, but I have very fond memories of that coaster. Who knows? It's maybe the one I've ridden the most. Uh, so that's that's always going to hold a special place in my heart. And then I also, one of my first like big girl coasters, if you will, was um, uh, at Silver Dollar City, um, Wildfire. I, I rode Wildfire all the time. Uh, just I just go around and around and keep riding it uh, so many times. I have so much merchandise with wildfire on it. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe one of my favorite coasters, like now, just like looking at all the ones I've been on, would be something like Revenge of the Mummy at Universal Orlando. Because um, it, it feels like it's a coaster, but it's like more than just a coaster. There's, you know, animatronics, there's really interesting track mechanisms. There's, you know, you go backwards, you spin around, there's launches, there's like a fake ending. There's lots of good stuff in there. Um, so yeah, those are the ones that really stand out to me. Like right now, the coasters are like a little something extra like that. And um Hagrid's magical motorbike adventure um also at Universal Orlando and then Velocicoaster also new to Universal Orlando which is fantastic and amazing and then let's see some of the most wild coasters I've ever been on would be at like Cedar Point uh Steel Vengeance and Top Thrill Dragster are ones I could ride over and over again if the lines weren't forever long. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those are some of my favorite coasters. Um, I'm excited to hear what everyone else had to say. So uh, happy National Roller Coaster Day, everybody.